Time not biting on any of those cycle cards out of Morton. Giant skeleton high right for the fisherman. Uh oh. Bellican, oh, shaking his head immediately, knows that that was a huge, huge error. That's why you don't cycle fishermen behind wow. King Tower early. Nice little fireball NATO combination there. And of course, that requires some coordination with the NATO in Michifu's hands, the fireball in Diego E's hands. Second time today that we're seeing the double, oh, and that's another nice lightning. That's huge. Second time we're seeing that double giant skeleton. And that was a big lightning on both sides of the board. You saw that the lightning came in from Diego and Michi, but I believe that was an intentional block from Sam and Morton with the Mega Knight protecting the Musketeer. It hits the Princess Tower, Mega Knight, and, dip, and one other unit. Musketeer stays on the board. Second Ram Rider down. That's a raged up Ram Rider. Can it get by? It does connect. 307 remaining on the right hand tower. Lightning comes in. 43 HP. Wow. Fireball gets it done. Sam and Morton with a gem of a game here in number one. SK Gaming has to forget about the right and take the left with as little time as they have left. Only 228 HP remains. And the NATO may be a half step late, but still 423 left hand side. Final 15 seconds. Going to go ahead and protect here on the right-hand side a little bit, knowing that, well, now that's going to put it within poison range. So it's possible here that Cream Rail Betis takes game number two. Not enough elixir. Yeah, that's going to be yeah. it. We're going to a game three. And now going to be a very healthy counter push coming in for SK Gaming. And there you see the graveyard. Graveyard and the tornado in. doesn't get the King Tower activation. Yeah, that is a very, very frustrating one there for Cream. Yeah, depending on how SK defends this, and that's actually a really, really nice lightning by Diego E and Mishifu, try, kind of like pushing the matter there, making it so that nothing can come across the bridge other than this Mega Knight. There was a great fireball NATO combination again from Cream Royale Betis, but was it an overspend? Mega Knight does not get the tankage oh. for that first graveyard, but now Dark Prince tanking for the second graveyard. A lot of skeletons getting in on that left-hand side. Ewiz in defense. The Freeze trying wow. to get this one for SK Gaming. That should do it. 135 wow. remaining. Skelly's on the tower. Freeze comes in. Brilliant, brilliant timing. And you see Diego, E, and Michifu definitely frustrated, but like I said, Earthquake played on defense to clean up some of those skeletons. And oh, they're look still at that King there. Tower, Andrew. Oh, wow. Yeah, King Tower down to 960. I mean, that is definitely a, a number that you have to start paying attention to if you're Michifu. Javi needs to defend these skeletons here. Delivery coming in. Oh, maybe a half step yep, late here, though, and Baby it. Dragon will get on tower. Yeah, that's going to be a GG well played. NATO to finish things off. Michifu takes game number one. Skeleton Barrel number one on the right-hand side. Will he do another one? Cannon Cart goes to the left-hand side, trying to split this up. Oh. Bomb Tower on the, on the left. Just barely picks things up. Fireball trying to help, and that's not going to be enough. Michifu going to go two up, two down in King of the Hill. Is big time, and this is also where Morton's got to start thinking about, all right, I'm becoming a little bit predictable. Those skeletons came in, protected the bar hut nicely. And that, that heal spirit leaped over the fireball, so going to get some decent damage on the right-hand side and take firm control of the lead is Morton. 1885 remains in the right-hand lane for Michifu. Here we go. Magic Archer looking for a bit of geometry. Can it get through a bit more? Pigs on the left-hand side with Fireball. 1805. This could be a bit of extra damage. Not going to be enough. Michifu falls to Morton without the King of the Hill sweep. And then this year, he's been able to finally find his place on Kareem Real Betis. Wow, so Morton going just classic mortar bait here, looking like with Prince instead of what was Rascals for a really, really long time. And instead of Spear Goblins, it's going to be that Dark Goblin. Have to do one more good chunk of defense here against Pedro. And look at that patience, Andrew. Yeah, the fireball I love it. up high rather than go on the tower. Mortar high here. Dark Goblin should be enough to stop this pig for any significant damage. That's veteran play. Exactly. You see him, he snuck that log in even as well there. Didn't even notice it because he was focused on something else. Log comes in, gets that tower within fireball range. You see Belly waits a long time, not biting on any of those cycle cards out of Morton. Giant skeleton high right for the fisherman. Uh oh. Belican, oh, shaking his head immediately, knows that that was a huge, huge error. That's why you don't cycle fishermen behind wow. King Tower early. And he knows that that was a massive, massive mistake. This Royal Ghost, though, is going to cruise right on through. It's going to get help with that heal spirit. That will be towered down. And, you know, Belican is a guy that does love to min max. He's also a guy that recognizes when it is not worth salvaging and he's doing that right now knowing he has got 
one minute and five seconds to take this tower from Morton. I mean, change his name to Loki. This guy is purely a trickster <laughs> when it comes to Clash Royale. Wow, he gets two drops in, but only 17 seconds remain. Belican has got to be really, really upset over this one. He played so well, other than that opening fisherman that cost him the game. And right into a hunter, Snowball gonna stop that one. And yeah, there yeah. you go. Back to back weeks, Morton with reverse sweeps in King of the Hill. I mean, write his checks right now, SK. Sign this guy for life. I, I just, Michifu, Pedro, Belican, Diego, B, Pompeo, Kevin, R, A. And actually, if you even go back one match before that, he beat Air Surfer in King of the Hill. He is God tier, S tier. No one is even close to Morton right now.